The aorta, about the thickness of a garden hose, runs from your heart through the center of your chest and abdomen. Because the aorta is the body's main supplier of blood, a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm can cause life-threatening bleeding. We spoke with Dr. Rama Thumadi, Medical Director of the Steed Cardiac Wellness Center at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center to learn about this condition. Normally the abdominal aorta measures around 1.5 to 2 centimeters and when it started to bulge, if it is more than 50 percent of the normal size, we call it as aneurysm. And uh, the problem with that is it can rupture and can have a sudden death. Usually no symptoms, that is one of the problems with this abdominal aortic aneurysm. And when they get the symptoms, usually they are uh, the markedly enlarged aorta. So the trick of that is uh, prevention and uh, regular surveillance by an ultrasound of the abdominal aorta. This will uh, uh, give us a assessment of the what is size, size of the aorta so that we can uh, prevent it before it ruptures. Most of these uh, abdominal aortic aneurysms are recognized accidentally when they are investigating some other problems. That is commonest presentation. Second presentation is they come with some back pain. And when they do the uh, ultrasound or a CAT scans, they are, they are recognizing it. Third group is they come with a uh, rupture of the aorta to the emergency room uh, with the hypotension and these type of things. These are extreme cases. So regular um, preventive surveillance is not done uh, routinely on many patients. Dr. Thumadi says there are treatments for this condition. There are two options. One is a surgical option that is, a, that is there for the long time that carries a high risk, high mortality and high morbidity also. Morbidity means pain, bleedings, needed, needs of blood transfusions and respiratory problems and uh, cardiac problems, all these things could happen with the surgical thing. Because of this high risk, now we are trying to do what is called the stent grafting. That is a, non -in that is a less invasive procedure that uh, we do in the cardiac cath lab also. A stent grafting takes probably around uh, anywhere between uh, one to two hours. A stent, what we do is well, we can, uh, we open up the, in the groin, we open up the common femoral artery in both groins. That can be done either surgically or by a non-invasive, non non-surgical method. Then we put the stent graft to the femoral artery into the abdominal aorta and, de and deploy the stent. It is very successful, almost more than 95 to 99 percent successful with a less than 1 percent major complications. The major emphasis is here is the prevention. So, and follow up. I think uh, anybody above 65 with hypertension should smoking have yearly uh, abdominal ultrasounds. And uh, if they find out that there is aneurysm that has to be followed every year uh, with ultrasounds. But if the aneurysm size reaches above 5 centimeters or if there is a growth of the aneurysm more than uh, 5 millimeters in, uh, in a year, that indicates the rapid progression and these people need a uh, preventive surgery or preventive stent grafting. And that's this edition of the American Health Journal. If you have any questions about the topics or doctors that appeared on our show today, you can contact us at 1-800-303-3200. Or now, you can explore our new website, AmericanHealthJournal.com. All of our interviews with doctors with a wealth of health information can be seen there. That's AmericanHealthJournal.com. I'm Roger Cooper. Thanks for joining us. <music>